Hi, I'm Tamara and I'm taking a BSc in Zoology of the Year's placement at Reading. I'm spending my placement year working for the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust with their Scottish Lowland Research Department. This means I get to live in Scotland for a year, which is amazing, and I've gained some invaluable experience so far. Most of the work I do is actually for the Interreg North Sea Region Partridge Project, which the GWCT runs. This is an EU-funded demonstration project that has demo sites across England, Scotland, the Netherlands, Belgium and Germany. Here in Scotland, we conduct research on two demonstration sites as well as their two reference sites. This equates to a lot of field work. What makes the demo site special is that the project has implemented new and improved management solutions alongside high quality areas of habitat to help improve biodiversity and ecosystem services. I don't really have a typical day, but as the name suggests, a good deal of our work is surveying grey partridges. This is because grey partridges are a key biodiversity indicator in farmland habitats. It also helps that they are super cute. One of my favourite surveys are our autumn partridge counts. We get to drive around all the stubble fields at the demo sites on the hunt for partridge coveys, which is what a group of partridges is called. This gives us an idea of how many coveys we have at each site and the numbers can be compared to previous years to see how effective the habitat measures have been from year to year. Another of my absolute favourite surveys are hair counts, which we're conducting at the moment. We do these once it's dark and drive around sites holding huge lamps out the window. It's honestly like a safari, but in the dark and without the long flight. So far, I've been able to see roe deer, foxes, brown hare, rabbits and woodcock and a whole host of other animals too. My wildlife identification skills have improved so much since starting my placement and there is always more to learn. As well as our indicator species surveys, we conduct lots of bird surveys through a variety of methods including transect and point counts. This has meant I've had to become quite handy with my binoculars rather quickly, but it's super exciting once you can identify all the species around you. Some of my favourites are the golden flocks of yellowhammers and goldfinches which populate the partridge mixes throughout the year. Today, I've been doing some raptor surveys and so far seen some buzzards and kestrels. Throughout the winter, we also provide feed for the wildlife to give them a little extra help during the harsher months. You can see one of the feeders that we use behind me here. I've gotten used to lots of heavy lifting as I've quickly discovered that deer and pheasants eat a lot more than you'd suspect. We also have set up camera traps on the feeders so we can monitor which species are using them. I have the fun job of setting up the cameras and going through the footage, which I love. This has given me some great experience with both the cameras and the analysis software we use, as camera traps are so widely used throughout the zoological field. Unfortunately, it isn't all fun field work. I also have some office days where I've been able to get to grips with GIS. This included creating habitat maps and inputting the data from our surveys. I've also had the opportunity to conduct my own mini project whilst on placement, which has given me some great experience running my own study in preparation for my dissertation next year. I've been looking at how disturbance levels impact farmland bird populations, which I've really enjoyed as it's so relevant with everything going on with COVID at the moment. So far, I've been having an amazing time. I always wanted to do a placement whilst at uni, but I had friends on different courses who really struggled with their placement as they were so full on and such hard work. I've honestly found it the complete opposite. I've never really found it to be hard work as it has been so enjoyable and such a unique experience. I know I'm biased, but I think zoology and ecology related placements are definitely the best as you can experience such a wide array of fields. I've actually been super lucky in relation to COVID as it hasn't affected my placement too much. As the majority of our work is outside and in small teams, we've been able to carry on pretty much as normal throughout lockdown restrictions. Our office work is done at home, but we do this without COVID anyway as we don't live very close to the Scottish office. COVID has definitely altered the experience slightly, especially as we can no longer visit the demo sites in the other countries, which is a massive shame. But I've still gained an insane number of new skills and just had a really good time amidst all the COVID misery.